Hey, what is up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Liberty City expansion update, which is supposedly meant to be coming into Grand Theft Auto 5. But where is this update? Well, today I'm going to be going through all of the information and evidence to do with this update. I'm going to be telling you everything which has gone on over the past few weeks. And this video should just clear up the topic. It should be the final video on the topic explaining everything and what has been going on. And it's not going to disprove anything. It's not going to prove anything. It's just going to be explained explaining everything to do with this update. So it all started off with Tez Funds 2, the most reputable leaker in the Grand Theft Auto community, who tweeted out an image of Liberty City with a Rockstar logo over it, as well as other tweets discussing a Liberty City expansion. This guy doesn't get anything wrong. I can vouch for him. Everything he says has a meaning. He's found it somewhere in the game files from a source, from a leak, or whether he's just found it himself. Regardless of how he's got this information, he does have some belief in some form of a Liberty City update coming to Grand Theft Auto 5 single player as part of the single player DLC. And unfortunately, this is all the information he got, so we had to try and use what we had to guess what it would be. So after we found this information, we started looking around the internet, and on the internet we found various sources from X Rockstar employees, we also found sources in the game files regarding what looks like a Liberty City expansion. So let's take a look at this image. Now this image was taken from Facebook from a user known as Gary Foreman. Now I will prove to you guys that this is an X Rockstar employee. I'll show you the proof just after this bit of information, but let's take a look at the image he posted out. So this image is of the Rotterdam Tower in Liberty City. Now if you guys don't know what the Rotterdam Tower is. It's basically a tower from the Ballad of Gay Tony. I believe it's the tallest tower in Grand Theft Auto 4, and this showcases all of these city names from previous Grand Theft Auto games. However, one comment which drew a lot of attention was in the comments of this image, which said, soon it will all make sense, from a Chris Grant, with a winky face from Gary Foreman. Now looking into Chris Grant, he did actually work for Rockstar Games on the game The Warriors in 2005. He also worked on loads of other games as well, alongside Gary J. Foreman, who has worked on many Rockstar Games games. And he's also been pretty high up on these games. As you can see, his ranking is chief on most of the things he's done, and he's done a lot of stuff from Rockstar Games. Now, these accounts go on forever. If you scroll down all of their walls until like 2013, 2014, you will see constant posts from him in the Rockstar Games offices. You will see him working on games. You'll see him playing Grand Theft Auto V or other Rockstar Games titles. He is, in my opinion, a very legitimate source. And this guy, a lot of people try to prove him fake. I don't think he's fake. Now recently, since we've seen these leaks, he's been posting out other images as well regarding Liberty City. This one was posted out in 2013 and shared, which shows the modeling of Liberty City. Rockstar Games also posted out on the newswire Liberty City stories coming to iOS devices, soon for Android devices. They also posted out throwback jobs from Liberty City stories in Grand Theft Auto 5. There's been a lot of heat around Liberty City since this leak has come out, and still we haven't seen this image, which I showed at the start, which you can see right now, in anything yet. This image is still in the game files, it's still waiting to be shown, and yet we haven't found anything of what this could be. So in my opinion, I think there's still chance we could see a Liberty City map expansion come to Grand Theft Auto V. There's been loads of rumors and theories about this update on forums, in comments, and there's been some pretty awesome theories, I'm not gonna lie. And to be honest, loads of them do make sense. Now let's take a look at this thing taken from the game code. Now this is a single player upgrade, underscore map, underscore change. Now this was emailed to me, and I got my friends to check up exactly where this was, and this was in the game files and this could either be something completely pointless or insignificant or this could be an upgrade onto the single player map it could be a single player DLC before I end this video I just want to quickly clarify that the reason why we're all talking about the single player update is because there is definitely a single player DLC coming to Grand Theft Auto 5 the reason I say this is because back in 2013 Rockstar Games confirmed to us on their newswire that the DLCs we're definitely going to be seeing would be stuff like the beach bum the heist update a alongside the single player DLC and some other things as well. Now in 2014, they told us that we'll be getting the single player DLC before 2015. However, once again, we haven't seen anything about this single player update ever since. Now for the past year or so, Rockstar Games haven't said anything about this. Instead, they told us in summer that their main focus would be 
in GTA Online. This is because it makes quite literally millions of dollars every single day from just from microtransactions. So obviously they're going to put a lot of their focus in GTA Online. And once that statement came out, a lot of people in the community pretty much gave up on the idea of having a single player update being introduced into Grand Theft Auto 5 anytime soon. However, this was changed just a few weeks ago when someone took a look in the game files and came across this. Now this is the single player update, however something strange about it is that it requires an activation key to get. Henceforth, he couldn't actually get into the single player content, but he did also prove that because you need an activation key, it's going to be paid for content. So obviously this is going to be something big, it's going to be something significant, something which is going to make you want to purchase it. I don't think Rockstar Games would ever release anything this anticipated so insignificant. I think the single player DLC, and I believe the single player DLC with all of my heart, is going to be something significant, something game changing, and DLCs in Grand Theft Auto 5 seem to be getting better and better by the month. So once this update is released, it's going to be big, it's going to be awesome, and it's going to make you guys want to buy it. It's Rockstar Games, let's be honest, they're still making millions of dollars a day with a game which is three years old they're going to make you want to buy it. So they're going to put something insane in this DLC, and I can't wait to see what it is. Now, if you guys have any questions about this, please feel free to let me know down in the comments section below. Of course, I will update you on this topic if any more information comes out, but I thought I may as well make this video just to wrap everything up and tell you kind of what is going on in the scene, why everyone stopped talking about this update, because of course, over the past week or so, no one has said anything about this topic because no one knows why this DLC hasn't been released. And the truth is, no one really knows when this DLC is going to be released. However, I still believe we're going to be seeing something to do with Liberty City. The reason behind this is because all of the information we have found about Liberty City in the game files, in the game coding, and just from sources, still hasn't been released. Now, if you guys want to disprove anything about this, then feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to try and respond to you guys and try and make things make sense. Uh, but like I said, I honestly think there's going to be something big on the way and once we see this, it's just going to make us gobsmacked and it's going to make us want to get it. So I really can't wait to see exactly what it is. Now, before I end this video, I'm just going to go back into a bit more information to do with this, the Rotterdam Tower. And there's been a few theories about this, discussing how this could maybe link up with future updates. So members up at Rockstar Games have discussed how they have got up to 45 years worth of ideas to do with the Grand Theft Auto franchise. They've also mentioned it's a permanent franchise, so they do have plans for the future. Now, the reason why why I'm homing in on this image is because, in my opinion, this is the most significant clue we have got in the entire mystery to do with this Liberty City map expansion. And the reason behind this is because what's the chances of having two ex-Rockstar Games employees posting out stuff violating their NDA agreement, saying soon it will all make sense on the internet? Now maybe this could be to do with a small decoy from Rockstar Games asking us to conspire and bring out mysteries to do with this image. It would make sense. Rockstar Games do know what they're doing and having two ex-Rockstar employees posting out something like this on their Facebook page would definitely eventually cause a lot of attention and also a lot of talk around Grand Theft Auto 5, which could also bring anticipation to a story mode update which hasn't yet been released. It kind of makes sense, but at the same time it's also ludicrous. Now here is the Rotterdam Tower, standing tall in all its pride in Grand Theft Auto 4. Now the Rotterdam Tower is an absolute absolute beast of a building in my opinion and like I said this can be found in Grand Theft Auto 4. Now if you also take a look in GTA 4 you will also see the other city names linked up just like I showed you in the image earlier. Now this could be to do with maybe a small kind of progress in the Grand Theft Auto franchise in which they link up all of the cities. If you have been following my channel for the past year or so, you may have seen videos about me covering these quotes. However, members and workers and employees up at Rockstar Games have discussed how awesome it would be to have all of these cities connected. It's also been a fan favorite in the community, and honestly, I could imagine this happening. If the Liberty City were to come back as some form of a map expansion coming to Grand Theft Auto V, then maybe over the years we could be seeing more map expansions coming from other cities from previous games. Now, this is just one of the best theories I have seen on the internet and I've been reading forums about this I've been reading the comments and I decided to add this in at the end although I may not put all of my belief into this theory my whole belief is in the video before this theory discussing all of the information we have it still sounds like a 
pretty cool theory, which I think needs to get a bit of wind under it. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video, then please don't leave without clicking that like button. I'm so sorry we don't have any information about this update as of yet, but like I said, I honestly believe we're going to be seeing some more information come out about this soon, which will clarify the information we have found so far in the game files. Anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy and if you are new here, please don't leave without clicking that subscribe button as you'll never miss out on any more Grand Theft Auto 5 content every single day. Anyway guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments and I will catch you guys next time.